When looking at these Lewis structures, you might wonder why carbon is bonded to four hydrogens or why oxygen is bonded to two hydrogens and has two lone pairs. This is explained by the octet rule. The octet rule states that atoms that can achieve a valence configuration of NS2, NP6, tend to bond in such a way that they can achieve eight valence electrons, creating a stable outer shell. So this applies to primarily these elements on the periodic table. But generally speaking, most atoms tend to bond to achieve a full principal quantum shell or angular momentum quantum shell, not necessarily always following the octet rule. So for example, hydrogen atoms seek to bond in a way that fills the, their outer shell with two electrons, achieving a full principal shell. But remember, two electrons are shared between the two hydrogen atoms, forming a, co a covalent bond. So each hydrogen atom does not have two electrons independently, instead they share the two electrons which create a bond between them. And the electron configuration diagram shows this sharing to illustrate the bonding interaction. Anyway, this achieves a stable configuration similar to the noble gas helium. And while an atom with a noble gas configuration is not necessarily a noble gas, it may still exhibit a higher ionization energy similar to that of noble gases. So carbon having eight electrons or hydrogen having two electrons in their outer shells result in more stable molecules. But returning to the octet rule, an atom follows this rule by gaining, losing or sharing electrons to achieve eight electrons or an octet in its outer shell reaching the NS2 NP6 configuration. So going back to our Lewis structures, the carbon atom with four valence electrons forms four covalent single bonds with hydrogen to achieve an octet of electrons in its valence shell. And remember that a covalent bond is the sharing of electrons. The oxygen atom with six valence electrons forms two covalent bonds with two lone pairs to achieve an octet. But also remember that hydrogens are benefiting as well because they share two electrons, giving them a full 1s shell. The Lewis structures for various molecules show how different elements adhere to the octet rule. So for instance, in the ammonium ion NH4+, the nitrogen atom achieves an octet by forming four single bonds, and it has a positive charge, meaning the nitrogen has lost one electron, and this maintains eight electrons in its outer shell. Here are some more examples of the octet rule at play. So to summarize, the octet rule is a guiding principle in chemistry that explains the bonding behavior of atoms can have a valence shell configuration of NS2 and P6. It states that atoms tend to gain, lose or share electrons to achieve eight electrons in their valence shell resulting in a stable atom or molecule. This rule is illustrated in Lewis structures where elements like carbon and oxygen follow the octet rule while other atoms like hydrogen aim for two electrons. The octet rule helps to explain the stability of molecules and the bonding patterns of various elements. So that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time.